Hello, my name is Michael Singer, Medical Center Ophthalmology Associate. Today we're going to discuss the article for clinical ophthalmology, which is called Improving the Quality of Life in Patients with Age-Related Macular Degeneration. The article consists of discussing the different options available with patients with end-stage age-related macular degeneration, and what we focus on in particular are surgically implanted intraocular devices. There are four devices we're going to talk about today. One is the intraocular miniature telescope. One is the intraocular VIP lens. The third one we're going to talk about is the Lipschitz mirror telescope. And the fourth one is the Argus II by Second Sight. The intraocular miniature telescope is the first device that is FDA approved for the anterior segment. It was approved in July of 2010 and is currently being implanted throughout the United States. The intraocular miniature telescope consists of a high magnified telescopic lens that is placed in the bag after cataract surgery. The advantage of this lens is it magnifies the image on the center area that has been affected by macular degeneration and in combination with the normal other eye, the patients try to fuse to get better vision and better activities of day. The second implant I'm going to talk about today is the intraocular IOL VIP device, which is the intraocular lens for visually impaired people. This device acts like a Galilean telescope in which two intraocular lenses are placed together so patients are able to have magnified images. The third device I'm going to talk about is the Lipschitz mirror implant, or LMI implant. This is an implant which is placed in the bag, which is an intraocular lens consisting of both plus and minus lenses put together to create a magnified image on the back of the retina. The fourth device the article will discuss is the Argus II by Second Sight. This is a retinal prosthesis that instead of being placed in the anterior segment, is placed in the posterior segment. This device consists of a number of electrodes that are connected to a wire that connects out of the eye to a pair of glasses. This device is currently approved for use in Europe, and the first device has recently been implanted commercially. I hope you enjoyed this article, and I hope it's a good review of discussion of all the different devices that are currently out there for patients with end-stage macular degeneration. Our hope is by better educating you on these different devices, you'll be able to treat your patients effectively and give them different options and let them know what's available. Thank you for your time.